Hey, it's Connor before the show starts. Do you like this show? Yeah, then prove it. Prove it by rating and reviewing us on Apple Podcasts. Uh, you could prove it like Chitch did. That's C H T C H. They left the following review <clears throat> Quote, Puts me to sleep instantly. As soon as I turn this podcast on, I black out. There is some kind of curse or something on this show. My life and time sucks directly from me whenever it starts playing. It is very powerful. Five out of five, great stuff. End quote. Thank you, Chitch. If you want to be a hero like Chitch, uh, please give us a review and rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts. We love you, you buttes. And um, thank you, Chitch. <laughs> Just thank you. The oh, fuck? Is this the instrumental version? Where's the... They won't okay. know what show it is. bop beep bop boobity beep You got a podcast very important. And if you uh, don't have yeah, lyrics to the little old song, you gotta make it bump on the spot. You gotta get a big crab and a lobster too. You gotta put him in the pot. Uh, mix in your seasoning and your butter and make sure it is hot. Okay. Rah. Uh, is that Connor, no, that's fine. We got the theme song. They got a spicy, fun heard. new one. Um, well, it didn't have anything. It didn't work. It kept going in and out. Um... um Oh, crap. Well, okay. Look, we got to uh, start the show. We don't have time for this. They heard the be... theme song. Okay. They know what show it is. Okay. Then we're going to do it live. All right. So get ready. I hope everybody knows their parts. Cast. Very, very important. important. Podcast. Podcast very, very important. important. Podcast. Very important. Podcast. Very important. Very important. What is this show? Podcast. Very important. Podcast. What is this? Who is this? Who's, who's that man in the corner? Who's that man in the corner eating beef? What is a podcast? Why am I listening to this? Break these cups. Can somebody get that man eating beef out of here? Look at all those chickens. That's too much beef for one man. Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Podcast Very Important, the only podcast you should be listening to. Each week, we count down the top 10 number one most important things you need to know about our subject. And our subject this week is... The The Occult. occult. Uh, I'm Vincent Price, co-host. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I uh, it's a drawn on goatee and mustache. Did it? Did Vincent Price do anything in the occult, or did he just say like, "And this is Scooby Doo" and like stuff like that before scary movies? I think you're conf- that is the occult. <laughs> okay, well my notes are all wrong. Yeah, I mean uh, there's you? all these sigils I wrote down. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I think the I don't know if dogs are even sort of thing a good person has like a good god-fearing christian has especially not a talking dog that likes marijuana mm, that's a smoke screen uh, no <clears throat> pun intended scooby-doo is an old hebrew word it's actually older it's not just hebrew it's older than that it's um uh, canaanite pre-brew it's pre-brew bread <laughs> uh so the occult wow what a topic you know we put this in for a while. We really wanted to do it. Can't believe we're here. Can't believe we're already here, right? Eh? Thank you. Wow. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Shane Cooley, everyone. You forgot to say your name. Shane I'm freak. I'm sweating yeah. over here. I didn't, introduce, I didn't introduce everybody. I'm sorry. Introduce. No, I don't feel like it. That's Connor Doyle. And, and that's what a great magician upset. would Yeah, that's what a great magician would do, too. A great master of the occult. That's called uh, Do It Thou Wilt, what Connor just did there. Look, here's the thing, guys. I don't know much about the occult, all right? I run the Church of Connor. Are there any prophets in your religion? And I don't mean the kind that you can take to the bank. (laughs) (laughs) No, then no. Oh, okay. Which is me, and you can take me to the bank because I have to go there to make the deposits. And withdrawals. Now, guys, uh, because we're talking about the occult, I want to bring up one of my favorite occult writings. The Lesser Key of Solomon. You guys know about this? You heard about this? Yeah. I have the laminated version, bathroom version, the uh, Uncle John's Lesser Key of Solomon. (laughs) 
version. It's so good. Bathroom reader, yeah. I do a little bit of bathroom incantation, man. You make your sigils? So, yeah. for the listeners at home that aren't aware, the Lesser Key of Solomon, supposedly written by King Solomon? Hmm. Maybe? Uh, in- I, written, I guess, interpreted. I mean, he didn't come up yeah. with it. Yeah, it's about... like. If you well, King Solomon sealed away how many is it? Seventy two, seventy two demons, and then someone wrote a little guidebook on how to 69. bring those demons back to do things for you if you want. And they all have different powers, and you might know some of the demons from movies like Pazuzu from The Exorcist, or what was it, Paganini Ooh. from Hereditary, whatever the Hereditary Anna one was. Kanuk Nurgle, Anna Kanuk Kapazuzu. It's a great song by Behemoth called Pazuzu. Yeah. Pazuzu. Hey, now you're getting it. Oh, Pazuzu is also yeah. the name of a terrible man. I might not know uh, much occult stuff, but I do know a lot of uh, black and death metal stuff. So okay. that's it, that, I might, I might be totally first in this. Can I, I let's so, pay, every time Shane and I say something that is inadvertently a reference to black metal or death metal. We should play a little little jingle over it, and you should tell us about it. Okay, what, sure. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I'll do that right now. I just need to get a jingle. In the meantime, we'll do... Uh, well, I'll tell you a little... I can tell you a little story about someone I named... <laughs> oh, Jesus! Okay. Was Did that in the studio? That? Was that in the studio? So that's... Uh, sorry, I just needed to bang the metal hammer. I thought you wanted me to get a little thing going here. Uh yeah, I so you were talking I about- I can't hear. It's like the scene in Saving Private Ryan where they almost die. I don't understand why you're upset about this. What do you mean? You know, my teeth are sh- my teeth feel like they've shattered. You don't. You, why wouldn't I be upset about this? It's hard to get you guys' attention sometimes. I feel like I'm fighting for attention. Got it now. I got to get this big freaking lid of the dumpster, yeah. and sometimes Wait, Jack, I got to get a your mouth. Sh- oh! oh my god! Sorry, there's a. It's a huge echo in here. And we don't have a lot of carpets down, everybody. Jack's teeth just got shuffled around like a deck of cards. Yeah, I just pulled one of my molars out like a joker. Discard this one. See you later. So, guys, I I wanted to bring up the Lesser Key of Solomon because I thought oh, we could play a fun game with it. Where oh. That's great, but I have to interrupt you. Okay. That was the thing that I was just told. Okay, but... Okay, that's yeah. enough. For the listeners <laughs> do, at home, I'm so sorry. You know, okay. Do, try to do it gracefully, and then give us pertinent information. Then we can fucking move on. Don't blow a door out every time we say something. Okay. Well, yeah, we've got two more doors. So, here. okay, I'll figure out a different one for next time. Okay. Do you guys know what Anu Kanuk Nurgle Anu Kazum Pazuzu Ultu Ula Bitlitum means? I think it's like, well. I used to roll with a guy named Pazuzu in Southern Florida. <laughs> we used to sing that on his birthday. So it's probably a happy birthday, Pazuzu. That's exactly it. It's actually, this is the seal of Nurgle. This, the seat of Pazuzu. Since time immemorial, the house of victory. Happy birthday from Jack. Wow. Oh, there you beautiful. go. This, can I tell my story about Pazuzu? It's pertinent. Well, I, I wanted to talk that. about the Lesser Key of Solomon, but apparently we're all just saying whatever we want. So get in there. <laughs> oh, sorry, Shane. Is this your first time on the podcast? Well, let's let little Shane go. <laughs> let's let little wizard Shane go. Tell us about little the Little wizard Shane. Look, all I want Shane's to say. Shane's got his little orb there, and he's trying to be the master of the occult. I'm trying to cult. scry, okay? And you're, you're going to make me cry. Scry oh, me a river, Sh- dude. Shane, are you fucking, are you scrying right now? Scry me a river, try. Shane's fucking scrying. We didn't mean to make you so upset that you're going to scry like a scry baby. So in the last key of Solomon, all the demons have cool names and job titles. Okay. Yes. So like number one, we got King Bale. Ooh, he's a king. Isn't that exciting? And uh, if you go on Wikipedia, you can go through the list of them and they all have their own separate articles, which typically have a drawing of them, which are very fun, but also like goes into extensive detail on what their powers are and how many th- demons they command. Like, there's a whole command structure in hell based off of this. There are websites where you can, where that are PayPal approved, where you can buy them. The uh, demons? According to the website. Yeah. This I'm into. I mean, we've got sick names like Duke Astaroth. Yeah. But I think the best one is number 58, my queen, President Amy. No. 
and it's a yes. picture of one of the characters from Angel Anaconda, isn't it? <laughs> this is a recent one. They've updated. Well, when wait, was this, this is... book? When? Wait, wait, wait. When was this <laughs> book made? Did they have presidents? Oh, it's back when paper was made of like poo and mud and rice and stuff. Man, it's ancient. Back when, yeah. if you carved a big block and your neighbor saw you, they'd be like, this guy's a king. This guy's a god. No. Back no. before they even had, I don't know, grunge. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see what President Amy can do. One of the, one of the demons. Uh, Amy is described as a president. Appearing initially as a flame before turning to a human form. Very cool. Mm. What do you mean oh. described as a president? Like, what is that? Like, I'm, what does she look like? Well, she's a president. Actually, she's got it's a, a guy. Suit. He's actually well, a horny he's a guy. Demon. Yeah. Okay. And he gets made fun of a little bit for being named President Amy down in hell. Is he really? Well, so let's see what is we got Is there toxic here. masculinity in hell? Should we role play it? <laughs> okay. I want to be um, uh, Count Morax. Okay. I can be Amy okay. if you want. Okay. And which demon would you like to be, Connor? Or you could be somebody who's just been sent to hell. Yeah, I'll be Gary, the guy that's just new arrival in hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sound good? <clears throat> you going to play the song that lets us start? Uh, I feel like it. Connor, what are you? What is happening? God, he's a plate. mighty wizard. He's a mighty. I got wizard. a lot on my plate right now, guys. Oh my! It's uh, the heat down here. It's a uh, it's a dry heat at least. Please. Hey, hello, hello Mister Demon. It's uh, it's my first day. I'm just looking around, looking for signs. Don't appear to be many. Hey, welcome to hell. Um, you got any cigarettes? Uh, let me check. Fuck, I'm horny. Hey, Amy. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, Ouch. quick shot. Ah, got you in the nuts. What are you doing? You got a new, uh, you got a new, uh, hell boy here? Hey, what's your name, old boy? Yeah, this is Greg. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm new, I'm new here in hell. Greg, oh, just twist your nipple off. Oh, ah. So you're stuck here with President Amy, eh? You can just call me Mr. President. Oh, you're Mr. Pre- oh, Mr. President, it's a pleasure to meet you. I didn't vote for you, but you are my president. You have to call me Mr. President for sure, or else I'll turn you inside out and sh- shit in you or something. No problem, Mr. President. Don't forget Amy. Don't worry. Amy's a real blowhard. Can you please, man? Pants them. Pantsed you. Pantsed you. Just, you're I'll pants you again. You got, you're wearing a lot of pants. You were ready for me to do this. I do do this. Yeah, I, I've lived with you for a literal infinity. You do this every day, man. The pants go all the way down. Trust me, this is going to be exhausting for you. You guys seem like good friends. Greg, shut the fuck. Honestly, I can't believe how how ostentatious you are for being in hell. We're clearly so much bigger than you are. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make friends. I get nervous when I'm new. It's first day. I'm going to tear your. I'm going to tear your hair off. Oh, okay. You're- Hello. <laughs> wow, we. Oh, God. That hurt. It gets me every time. See, that's so basic. It's not even like replace his teeth with bugs or something. President Amy, oh, you're shit. so lame. That's such a good idea, actually. I didn't think of that. I've never felt the wind on my scalp. Have you ever thought about that? How you haven't felt the wind on your scalp since you were a baby, maybe? And even then, you probably weren't in a convertible. Hey, what's up, uh, President? Thank you. Mr. President would be better, honestly. Mr. President? Yeah. What's something you don't like? Something that really gets you under your skin. Well, why is he in hell in the first place? It needs to be ironic. President Amy, come on. This is I don't your know, literal man. this is your I, infinite you, day on the job. I, I don't read my hell mail, man. It, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's it, we, they email you about everything. You got you got to do freaking you got to wipe the brimstone off your hooves when you walk in. I don't wipe the white hooves or brimstone off your hooves when you come in because it's an important part of the ecosystem. I can't. I don't have time to keep up with all this. Gary, why are you in about hell? Greg? Or Greg? Huh? Why are you in hell? What'd you do? Parking ticket. Okay. I don't now, how can so. you get this ironic, President Amy? Come on, keep it together. I mean, it wasn't really a parking ticket. That he he parked on top of a handicapped person in a handicapped spot. Still got a ticket. 
Yeah, I mean, that's secondary, though. It's like peripheral to you literally mowing down a person in a wheelchair who is panhandling a Santa Claus. So- in my defense, in my defense, they were a member of the Blue Man Group in a blue wheelchair, and from the side, it looks a lot like the symbol. Why were you in a steamroller? Because that's what I drive. <laughs> oh, my God. I think we might have made a mistake. This might have been an actual accident. Great. Listen to Amy, you get convinced out of torturing people constantly. These are all liars. They're bastards. I'm sure everybody says this, but I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, like I'm not supposed to, like I'm going to trust what a, de- a literal demon tells me. Uh, yeah, man, okay. don't trust that guy. I have rights. Greg, I'm sorry, dude. Bro. Hey, man, honestly. it's okay. I don't blame you. You're just doing your job, man. Put You're her just there. doing your job. Put her there. That's fine. Put her there. Give oh. me a handshake. Ooh, it went inside you. Yeah, zap. Gotcha. Kidding. You're in hell forever. I didn't mean any of that. Oh, oh, now that is What'd you think of that? What'd you think of that? Okay, now that is what I call hell. Pretty nasty, Let's see. Let's see what he thinks. Let's see what he thinks. Did he do a good job? Wasn't that dastardly? Uh, Did you... Didn't he do it? Didn't he do a good job at me? I hated that. Did you see that double cross? Did you see it? This is pure bullshit. Get me out of this. I'm in hell now. All right. Looks like I win. Okay, you can actually go, Greg. See you, man. Hey, thanks, guys. Wow, we neat. So that's the lesser keys of Solomon. Well, that was one of the demons. Two of them. But yeah, Three. I think I think President Greg. Amy is worth checking out. You know. And what about the greater keys of Solomon? Those are for can't talk about them. Yeah, you oh. really can't understand them. It just doesn't make sense. It's like trying to look at London when you're standing in Trafalgar Square. You know what I mean? can't okay so and one of our favorite tarot or sorry occult things i spoiled it is tarot isn't that true tarot root yes it is that's cards. one of their favorites I, i've never understood why i i think it's good in bubble tea i like that it's the color of grimace from mcdonald's but there is nothing at all spooky about it I don't think. They give you those tarot root chips on the plane. Oh, those are good you know, too. And they give you that it's in the small bag that puffs up because of the air pressure. And isn't that neat? That's not a cult though, I don't think. Is it? Think Was so. I wrong? Is it wrong? Was I wrong? Yeah. It's okay. I'm happy to be wrong. Okay. Yeah. No, I was wrong. So we'll move on. I won't put that on the list. So uh, tarot, we like it. One, because of the edges, the cards are shaped long. And that's something I like. Can I say something I don't like? Oh, I, I wish you would, Jack. Totally impossible to play Crazy Aids with them. They're u- they're fucking useless if you're on a long plane ride or something. Yeah, we had to play Crazy Eats. Where we would try and call the card, and if it looked like... Jack and I would sit across from each other, we'd <laughs> play a card, and if it you looked sit like... sit across from each other on the plane. That's right. You'd sit on his lap. No, I would sit on the lap of the person in the seat ahead of me and it would give me just high enough to look over the seat. I would, we'd do it. We've eventually sorted it out on the bigger planes where he would sit on the tray, on the dinner tray uh, that comes out from the chair and we'd play on his lap. Yeah, with my feet up like they're in the stirrups. We'd put the cards out on the table uh, or on Jack's legs and, and if it looked like one of the cards could beat up the other card, that person won. And then where does the and then and then I in? would have to eat the card. Yeah, that's I'd right. So what what is typically the winning card? Like, what's the meanest tarot card? Well, it depends that you're on who's for? left, right? Because I mean, the fool is gonna beat the hermit, right? The hermit's a frail old man, but the the emperor is gonna beat the fool. But what about the hung man? That's the card I always get. The hanged man loses to everyone, especially swords. Well, he wins to swords because swords cut him down. We went over this on the plane, Jack. Who ate the card there? I think I ate it out of frustration, not out of loss. Yeah, actually, you know what? You're right. I think that one we had to do an emergency landing because they were angry with us. There's something about it being unhygienic and not wearing our masks or something. It also Mm -hmm. didn't help that it was kind of had like a go. No, I'm not going to make this joke. Never mind. No, do it. Sorry. It's the occult episode, baby. Mom's not home. You're already in. Mom's not home. No, you have to do it. Look, we're le- this episode won't go out until you say it. No, I think the more magic thing to do is to actually just not do that. Are you going to leave in hints? 
yeah. what the joke was. We can decode it. Are those decoders <laughs> at home? Those with the you, PVI decoder rings? Yeah. Why did the magic chicken cross the ro- road? Okay. You guys save that. And in another uh, 34 weeks, you will get the remainder of the message. Uh, and if you send in your cereal box caps and six hundred nine dollars, we will send you a decoder ring. Yeah. Sometime. You guys want to hear my story no, about Pazuzu? I'd love to hear a story about Pazuzu. Uh, quick, quick thing about Pazuzu. I don't know uh, if you know this. It's Connor's Black Metal Minute. Pazuzu is a song written by Behemoth, and it's pretty cool. And it says, Hark the howl of pestilent winds, autumn devourer of life forever blackening. And that has been the Connor Black Metal Minute. Did that, will that enhance your story, Jack? I, yeah, whatever, man. All knowledge is good or whatever. That hey man, cool. I don't know if this, I didn't say this was good. I was told this is how I should contribute I, this episode. I'm not here so to I'm debate whether or not it's good either. Just, uh, I, I thought it was good just to put this to rest. It was good. No, I appreciate it. I don't, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Anyways, Pazuzu was a fucking lunatic juggalo that I used to roll with <laughs> in <laughs> South Florida <laughs> when I was doing my cotton candy apprenticeship. Uh, I was learning how to get good at doing candy floss stuff and Pazuzu lived in a rundown shack that had an ungunga, which is a big pot that he would fill with terrible things. Um, but he Give was some examples. Like, he's kind of like, uh, have you ever seen how they make like a breakfast burrito in prison? No, you know, Connor, can you play the, the cool metal sound? On my way. Activating. Welcome to <clears throat> Pisses Prison Minute, where I tell you how shit happens on the inside. All right, a prison breakfast burrito. You get your tortilla because you can get that from the cafeteria. They get those. But then the next, all the rest of this is basically contraband. Okay, so you're going to want to get your ramen. You cut the bag open, break the ramen in half, fill it with toilet water. Put the ramen sauce in there. Let it stew for a bit, for a while. And then the next thing you're going to do is get a bag of chips. Huh? (laughs) I feel like, I feel like maybe we did go through how to, (laughs) I feel like we had this at some point. Didn't we talk about this? It was sushi, I think. It wasn't a burrito. No, it was sushi. I see. Okay. No, no. Oh, that's right. It was Was hamburger. I'm sorry. You know, it's just the ingredients seem very familiar. I remember it involving a toilet in prison. Sorry, continue. I didn't well, mean to interrupt. The fucking resources are limited, man. Do you? No, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's good. It's keep going, keep going. There's more than that. Ramen. You get the Doritos. You open the bag, same way you did the ramen. Put toilet water in there, crunch <laughs> it up until, it, and then you let it soak it all up. Okay. After the point is, after a while, both of those things turn into kind of soft patties of flavor okay and then the next thing you get is your sauces so you're gonna want to get toothpaste and then you're gonna want to get uh mustard packets honey packets put all those on there and then where the real breakfasty shit comes in you get a bunch of bubble gum (laughs) you chew that up put that in the toilet for a bit (laughs) <laughs> and now, was this Pazuzu's <laughs> favorite meal? Is that where this he, is coming from? He made us make it for him on his birthday. But anyways, his ungungo is full of like blood and shit and guts and stuff. He told us it was human blood, but we don't believe it was at all. Because he was a meat packer. So, But he sharpened his teeth and he was a juggler and he had face tattoos and he ended up killing his girlfriend or his roommate or something. I got out of there. I passed the cotton candy test with flying colors and I was gone, man. Didn't need to squat on a Looney Tunes blanket in the corner of Pazuzu's apartment anymore. <laughs> that's really, that's, that's super cool. Cause I, uh, I, I, there, before I had started the church of Connor and begun the 
uh, the process of enlightenment to Connorism. And again, everybody, I'd just like to remind you, the Church of Connor is a church where we are all Connors, all the way up, all the way down. Uh, we are all love. We are all Connor. Uh, I, before that, was a follower of um, this occult demon uh, that's come. He's actually from under hell. He's from the prison of, of hell. So, like, when you die in hell, you go to mega hell or under hell, sorry? Okay. Exactly. And if you've been bad, if you, like, if you steal oh, in no. hell, then they'll send you there. Oh, if you tell a lie? If you tell a lie in hell, they'll send you to under hell. Uh, and uh, his name is uh, Zumbo. <laughs> his name is Zumbo Classes? Nope, Zumbo. And he, uh, he's got this, like, super wide mouth. He looks like a, uh, one of the... One of those poor people that got their faces stretched out from spy kids. And yeah, the thing that, that he does, you know, and so he says, he's like, here, look at this. He's like, this is this. You, he's like, look what I made. And you look at it and it's a, it's a skateboard. And you're like, oh, you made a skateboard? And he's like, eat it. And you go, no, I can't eat that. There's no way I could eat that, Zumbo. He goes, eat it. And then you bite into it and it's cake. Isn't that neat? And he says, yeah. you've just had your just dessert. Um, I've got his phone number. So this is like a friend of yours? Oh, how did this come up? No, this, this is, is a demon I used one. to worship. This is a, this is a demon oh, you I used to, to worship. worship. I thought you said uh, work with. Do you guys want me to get you in touch with him? Yes. He's at, yeah, he's, he's got hellish. Zumbo on the line. He's really bad, but he's really cool. Okay, uh, I'm going to call him up. Uh, can you meet? Let's all hold hands. And we have to cite the sacred incantation I, all at the same time. Hold Here my hand, Jack. Honestly, don't know why my hands are like this or Just hold his st hand. sticky like this. So, Jack, like we know that one time you pulled your hand out of your pocket too fast and you broke your uh, wrist, but you got to get better at this. <laughs> don't be afraid, man. You can do it. We've been practicing. Remember, we did it slow. We did it with no pocket and we had the trainer yeah. pocket. It's my bones. I had a high fever in the womb. I mean, we could also do the thing that we suggested in the first place, which was just don't put your hand in, in your pocket. Oh, come on. But they're so tantalizing. Plus, I've no, put so no, many things in No, no, I know. I'm there. just saying it's, it's another option. We have options. So we need to summon wanna... fucking Roomba, okay? Yeah, let's go. We gotta let's get this thing Zumbo. Okay. Who's so, he gonna so talk let's... through? Me. Okay. Or do you want, <laughs> do, do you want to channel him? I don't give a shit. I'm used to being possessed by demons. I thought I was doing something kind. Is he pooing? Oh, this is just making? part of the This is normal. <laughs> this is normal that he makes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get oh. Zumbo now. <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get Zumbo now. Okay, oh, enough on. making the pushes. I call upon the big man, the man from down under, the Zumbo man. Come forth, please. <laughs> G'day, mates. I'm Zumbo. Oh, hey, Zumbo. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What's up, dude? What do you ever call the king of the demons of the southwest wind and the brother of Humbaba and son of Hanbi? I am the bearer of storms and drought and the host of Zumbo's Just Desserts. I mean, Zumbo, yeah. cool, but normally we do the introductions for the guests. So, I mean, cut it short. We can You can plug your projects at the end if you want. Oh, okay. I was just waiting for somebody to do anything. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're joined today by Zumbo, the West Wind down... Down under wind. God uh, of the wind West down Winds under, from Down Under's body. Please don't talk Humbo. over Jack. God Zumbo. of the Wind. Okay. okay, sorry. You're right. I'm the guest. We will mute you. Okay, here we go. Joined today by Zumbo, ghost of the Humbumbo down under. He's <laughs> <laughs> he's here. Oh, he's and I got your. I got my first question for you here. What are those? What are you? How are you? What are your shoes? Why are your pants so tight? What are you wearing? These aren't actually pants. These are the. This is whatever the, your accent. Um, um. This guy's a fraud. No. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, you just no. took you. This is an excuse for you to take a shit. Nope. In don't, your take chairs, no, don't take off the mask. No, don't take off the mask. Blame it on the demon. Yeah, there he is. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So Zumbo is me. Interesting. And you used Wait. to worship yourself. I mean, that checks out. That's what you do now. I know, but before I use Zumbo to scare people into Connorism. Oh, interesting. Is he, so he is the Satan of Connorism, the opposite of Connor, the anti-Connor. That's right. But he also is Connor all the way up and all the way down. I had a real experience with Zumbo, I thought. I thought you were serious. <laughs> I was, I've been possessed by this, this Australian bald man before. I watched the show. I ate, I ate a huge amount of corn nuts, passed out watching the show, and then woke up. I'm pretty sure I was possessed by Zumbo for a while. <laughs> he might still be in there. Oh, God knows. I was wondering if I could uh, maybe summon a demon I used to worship. Would that be okay? Oh, I'd yes. Uh, so I'm going to be summoning um, Forkus, Knight of Hell. Okay. Um, you know, he's, he also makes his appearance in the Lesser Key of Solomon, if you want to read about him. Uh, I'll send you guys a picture. Everyone can look up Furcus, please. So like, just open up your phone. I know you're on your phone right now, listeners. So Furcus? I used to worship this demon. All I found is Julia Furcus. No, F-U-R-C-A-S. F-U-R-T-A-S? Furcus? No! F A R T U S F U R, like uh, how a dog F-U-R, has fur. You are, yeah. I sent you the picture. C A S C A S. Okay, I'm looking at your fur picture. Cass. Okay, I'm gonna look at oh, this. Oh, all right. So it's Karl Marx on a donkey. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a Santa Claus. It's yeah, Karl that's, Marx Karl, that's Karl Marx on a donkey, on a, donkey a very Shane. small donkey. Okay, look, he's my he's my former lord. So look, if we could just summon him, yeah, see okay. what he has to say. Sure. Do we have to hold hands again? Yes. Okay, let me lick whatever this shit is off my hands. Okay, good to go. Okay, let me see the incantation. Uh, Furcus is a knight and cometh forth in the similitude of a cruel man. With a long beard and a hoary head, he sitteth on a pale horse, carrying in his hand a sharp weapon. He perfectly teacheth prac- like philosophy, rhetoric, logic, astronomy, chiromancy, pyromancy, and their parts. They are obey with him 20 legions. Hey everybody, it's me, Farkas. What's up? Hey! Ooh, I made... Is this a I show? Made... Ooh, shame. Can you, can you God. stop yeah. all, the, all the earthquake stuff? Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes I lose control. You owe us for that. It is good to meet you, my lord. Mwah, 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 mwah. Kiss the horse, too. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, lord. I give you, in lieu of four kisses, one lick. And your horse, a lick. Uh, so, what is this, a show? You came yeah, on here, much. man. Hey, I got summoned by you boys. Well, look at... Uh, what. There's Shane. I know him. He's passed out over there. He does that a lot. So what's what are you deal? talking you, about? What's your deal? Are you going to give me presents? Oh, yeah. I got something, probably. Here, open it up. Your oh. Here, take. Oh. What is this? Is this the... Is this the... This is the old Bionicle DVD. I didn't um, think these existed anymore. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you guys like Bionicles? So this is, we have to sell you our soul for this? No, I already got that. Oh. By summoning me, hearing my incantation, whatever. Now we're just friends. Now that I own your soul, anything like that. Cool. And so you're from, like, the Cuba part of hell? It's (laughs) quite... I mean, it's not like a one-to-one flip. You know? 
Did you, was that a joke? Like the two acrobats, one to one? One to one flip? I I don't know, man. I never, <laughs> I, I don't talk to the people in Spanish hell. Not that I'm against the idea. They just got the wrong thing going on. <laughs> I, I spend most of my time hanging out Louisiana hell, honestly. Well, great. Uh, I think we're going to have to go for a break. Uh, do you want to hang around for kiss? Oh, yeah, I got nothing to do. Okay, great. Well, we'll we'll check back in with you after the break, okay? All right. <laughs> Podcast very important. Podcast very important. Welcome back. It's that time of the podcast again where we ask that very special question. Mm hmm. The name is Shane, baby. Shane. It's not Sean, uh. and I'm the one who leaves the cigarette butts on your lawn. Me, I'm a mongoose. Yeah. You, you're a snake. Yes. And now I'm gonna tell you what I did over the break, bitch. Ooh, wow. Oh my god. That Shane, just brought me you back. Made that, that was incredible, I dude. I don't remember that at all. Whoa. I, guys, sorry. I I just spent the break in Spanish hell. I don't want to summon demons anymore. That was bad. Was Fergus cool? Mm. Um, Fergus was unenlightening. He gave us this copy of the Bionicle movie. If That's I'm being cool. honest, so far, e- it's, each of the demons we've summoned have been very lackluster. Uh, Pazuzu well, taught us how to make a breakfast burrito. We didn't summon Pazuzu. Zumbo didn't even uh <laughs> Zumbo didn't even commit to his accent. And Listen, Forkiss uh was just Carl Marx on a donkey with some bionicle. Just to clarify, we didn't summon Pazuzu. Pazuzu's a guy, a real person that you can Google who I hung out with in Florida, who is basically just a, a juggalo. Okay, well, do you want to call him and that'll summon him? Oh. Wait, wait. No, we gotta talk about what we did on the break. Oh, you're right. You're, oh, yeah, right. you're right. You're right. You're right. After that right. great song call. that apparently I wrote, I've never heard before. It read. You, yeah, you did so good. Your eyes rolled back into your head, and you just started saying my name, Shane, baby, and then you threw cigarette butts on everybody's lawn. I do do that. I do say I'm Shane, baby. It was cool. <laughs> it was a good. It was cigarette a, butts a really on your well lawn. Well done song. I'm a mongoose. You're a snake. You did really good yes, on yes, that. Yes. One, yeah, great work, Shane. So, uh, Shane, what did you do over the break? You spent time in hell. Oh, I hope I there's in Spanish hell. Hey, I hope yeah. you keep that stuff coming, Shane. Okay, apparently. Uh, yeah, I was in Spanish hell. It's kind of like regular hell, but more Spaniards. Um, it, I don't know. They, I, I think they were condemning me for my sins, but it was all in some gibberish language that I do not understand. Hmm. I kept saying, like, uh, vamanos, queso, vamanos. No, oh, dude, okay. he's speaking in tongues. It's happening again. It's happening I, I again. I know, I was oh, crazy. no! Man. Hit him on the head. Hit him on the head. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Thanks. Well, I'm glad to hear you're doing okay. Me too, man. I'm glad you're not Spanish anymore. That was unsustainable. <laughs> now, what did you guys do on the break? Uh, I, uh, scoured through my, uh, contacts to find Pazuzu's, uh, extension in prison. Mm -hmm. And? And then I played some Minesweeper, and I still don't understand how to do it. Um, that's about it, really. I mean, I could keep going, but it just gets a little bit pedestrian. Interesting. Took all the uh, bees out of a can of Alpha Getty because I'm allergic. <laughs> You're allergic to bees? Yep. I don't know if... I think you can eat those. I think that's like a different thing. Are you fucking crazy, dude? If, I, if they sting me, I'm dead. Imagine what happens if I eat like 10 or 12 of them. 
Are you actually, do you even care about me at all? A little. <laughs> What'd you do over the break, Connor? Oh, I've been trying to make my own springs. Cool. Yeah. Now, Jack used to go by spring Jack. So maybe, you know, he was always bouncing on beds, that sort of thing. Robin. I liked when he left and now he is back. Oh, who's that man? It's spring Hill Jack. And I'd fucking bounce over the couch and onto the coffee table. Boing. Hitting the roof yeah. every time. A very, very unpopular phase. Yeah, I, I remember you were banned from a lot of houses by people's moms. Said always jumping on the bed. Get him yeah. out of here. But it was luckily in the 90s and ska was cool and I could just pogo my way out of most situations. Mm. You guys want to summon Pazuzu? Okay, guys. Well, we're halfway through our top 10 number ones and I think right now we're going to summon Pazuzu and see what he has to All say right. about... Uh, well, what are we going to ask him first off? Because last, last two guys we summoned up here, these guys were like, what do you want? And we said, uh, uh, we didn't think that far and we sold our soul twice now. We didn't plan it. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, I know. <laughs> don't get distraught, Shane. <laughs> uh, we got to plan something. No, I know. I'm with you. I'm with you. Just don't, don't give in to despair. <laughs> Does Pazuzu like going to the zoo? These are good questions. I think... Is I think you'll find that I think you'll find that Pazuzu is very, uh, very forthcoming, and affable. Okay, let's go. Okay, well, he's charming. He's charming. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to say the the incantation, Jack? Yep. Uh, four, four, three, two, two, one, six, five, five, six. Okay. Um, and current inmate. Okay, inmate number, inmate number, two one one six six six. Hey, baby dicks. Hey, hey Papa Pazuzu. Zoo. What's up? Okay, first of all, boys, we're gonna get it straight. It's Pazuzu. Oh wait, you aren't, you aren't some sort of zoo dad. Mm, Papa Zoo. I wish. Mm, no, I'm Pazuzu. <laughs> oh. And now, Jack, do you have anything you'd like to ask P- uh, Pazuzu? I'm honestly so busy holding the phone. This <laughs> is taking a lot out of me. Okay. Yeah, come on, guys. I only get one phone call every 69 years. Oh, interesting. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say on the show? We yeah. tried to plan. Jean-Benet Ramsey is guilty. Oh, she's guilty. She killed herself. Mm. Okay. Um, how do you know that? Where's this coming from? You got more. You I got see, lots of hell secrets. ICP rules. Ooh, ooh. I got okay. a lot of hell secrets. Yeah, man. Here's the hell secret. You sit on your fucking hand for oh. like twenty minutes, then you touch your own penis to feel like someone else's hand, bro. Okay, so I we I know we had said that Pazuzu was going to be very different from both Forkus <laughs> and Zumbo that had come beforehand in having just any sort of excitement or substance. I think we got to hang up on him and try our luck with the next demon. Jane, you got a list of demons? Oh yeah, I got tons. Okay, what's uh, uh, what's so the next sorry. demon? We'll, we'll give him a so shout. Sorry about your your demon friend there, Jack. I don't I don't understand why you're sorry. I thought he was bang on. <laughs> Uh, okay, guys, pick a number between one and seventy-two. Seventy. Fucking s- Wait, what? Six- sixty-nine, probably. Oh yeah, sixty-nine, 69 probably. probably. Yeah. Okay, we've got Marquis de Carabia. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's let's call him up. Here he comes. Uh, do you want to channel him, Shane? Uh yeah, I can I can try here. Uh sounds like a Louisiana De- boy. Deck Arabia, what's up? Come to us. 
Come to us, Decarabia, the Marquis of Decarabia. You know the virtues of all herbs and precious stones and can change into all birds and sing and fly like them before the conjurer. <laughs> well, I, well, 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 I said good afternoon, boys. Oh, Marquis hey, Decarabia. What's up? Y'all boys want to know some boyd facts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you know that a seagull and an eagle might sound the same? <laughs> different as fuck. Oh, no, no, no. This guy's even worse. Okay, no, this is interesting. <laughs> Did you know He's telling that us that a bo- seagull and an eagle are different, <laughs> even though they sound the same, which they don't? <laughs> no, I think I think he might be on to something. Hey, boys. <laughs> Did you know that all boys... Have they eggs delivered by a stoic? Even, wait, is that true? Yup. I don't think that's right. How who who delivers the stork's eggs? A bigger stork. <laughs> <laughs> hey okay. boys, did you know that some birds live their entire adult lives underwater? No. <laughs> Which birds? Dolphins. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go. Yeah, okay. Wait, no, <laughs> Decarabia, no. I, I'd like to interrogate this a bit more. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh, it's busy down here, boy. We're having a bacchanal. Um, okay, one more question, because I'm feeling affable. Okay, what's your favorite? Well, um, are bats birds? Or are they mammals? Bats? Yeah. Them's good eating, that's all I know. Gotta go. <laughs> He's eating bats, right? Okay. All right. Well, let's spin the wheel of demons. Let's see. We've got three more uh, top 10 number ones. And let's see if maybe we'll get a demon with any sort of uh, substance here. Let's see. I don't think the occult is for you, Connor. I think your standards are way too high. (laughs) I think you're right. This has been this has been the most occult response I've ever gotten from any kind of seance. I'm honestly floored by the amount of paranormal activity up in this studio right now. I guess, no, I am, I am surprised at our hit rate because we're one, like we've hit, we're at a hundred percent. Each demon we've called has shown up and with very little problem and very little latency or lag in the zoom call. I'm really happy about it. But <laughs> the one thing is that each of them suck. Like they sound really bored. The marquee was so busy. Yeah, no, he was busy, but like talking about how seagulls are different than eagles and he thinks <laughs> that he wrong? dolphins are birds. No, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. I just, I don't Shit, know if that makes, makes for an interesting podcast. I don't know how to tell you this, Connor, but you might want to start worrying over your immortal soul because if you get trapped in hell, you're going to have a bad time trademark. I doubt it. I bet I'll like the next guy that comes up. Who's, what's, our, what's our next one, Shane? Look, pick a number and we'll summon him. Yeah, I bet you will like him. I bet you're going to channel him too. But that's the only way to get one that shit Connor likes. Yeah, I bet you're going to channel it and then you're going to be like, oh, he picked me. I like him now. Oh, wow. Oh, surprise. I bet you he's going to like us. I bet you. Uh I bet you we're going to like this guy and I bet he's going to be great. We'll pick a number. We'll get him on the phone. I bet Uh, that one question and he's going to be having flop sweats. 65. 65. Okay, we've got Marky Andreofus. Ooh, sounds... Let's see what we know about him. He sounds South African. Oh, appearance of a peacock. No, raises great noises and teaches cunning in astronomy. And it's when easy. in human form, also teaches geometry in a perfect manner. Ooh, oh, the perfect this guy kind sounds of geometry. pretty neat, guys. I think he was gonna... I'm pretty sure this is going to blow each and every demon that came before out of the water. Well, there's also, there's one other really cool detail here. He has the ability to turn any man into a bird. Right. Get out. Yeah. Wait I a second. For this okay, guy. wait, wait, there's another curveball here. Just before we summon him, we need this no, all no, on the table because okay. okay. I don't want to be surprised by this. Including the ability to make men subtle in all things pertaining to menstruation, among other things. What did that sentence mean? What do you... What do you mean make subtle? I think you're going to have to ask him. Okay. I wouldn't know. Andre Elfus, can we call you up? 
We're summoning Andreelfis, you. Andreelfis, Andreelfis, hey, Andreelfis, go. We're calling out your ass. Oh, Andreelfis. Hey, Andreelfis, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Andreelfis. Oh. Ouchie, who dares disturb my slumber? Oh, I'm, hey. I'm Jack Piss. This is Shane Cooley. We're from Podcast Very Important. How are you, Andreelfis? You guys are huge in the nether realm. Oh, really? Yes. Like good huge or bad huge? Like we're really big in comparison? Both. You guys are big because you're so bad. And that's the stuff we like down there. People, you guys up top here, you drive in cars, but down there, uh, you eat a car and then you walk to work. Wow, we're not so different. You guys like birds? Yeah, <laughs> we were learning about birds, actually. Did you know that seagull and eagle oh, is not Oh, not from, not from <laughs> Decorabia, I hope. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry. Why, do you do you dispute this? <laughs> that guy, how can somebody be so busy and so dull at the same time? It sounds like you were just jealous of not being invited to the Bacchanal that's happening down there. Actually, actually, I'm hosting the Bacchanal. Actually, I'm hosting oh. it. <laughs> so okay. you're actually, actually just fashion, it's at my fashion, house and oh. I actually do really good. Whatever, man. You guys want to see me in uh, bird form? Yeah. Uh, I, why not? What do you okay. mean it make men subtle about menstruation? Yeah, before you turn into a bird and you can't answer these questions anymore. Okay, here. Uh, I've already started the process. You can see my tail's growing out of my butt, so we're going to have to make this quick. What I mean Ugh. by being subtle about menstruation is like, you've got to get in and understand that he's a fucking dud. Shane's furious. I'm, I've never seen I'm him just this just man. I will, this I'm, is what seething looks like. I mean, Connor, you kind of, you really built that guy up and then he didn't answer any of our questions. He answered fewer. I'm dumber after him than I was Decorabia. And Decorabia said objectively incorrect things. Dude. And I'm, some things that were just He's right facts. here in front of you. He's a beautiful bird. Look at him. You're beautiful. Yeah, there's a little chicken in here now. Oh my God. Okay, Look at so his big, I, his big plumage. He looks nice. It seems nice. to me that. Solomon was an eccentric king who had a real thing for birds, and his idea of like ultimate power was the idea to just have birds all over the place. The power of birds, the power to know about birds, the power to know how a bird feels about you, if it likes you, if it doesn't like you. <laughs> and then basically let them know that you care. You sort out alternative ways to continue on your intimate relationship. And you just need to be subtle. Don't be so afraid and stuck in your ideas of what's gross and what isn't. It's really about understanding where she's at. Because trust me, it's much more difficult for her. Does that answer your question, little Shaney? Huh? Come here, let me I, I pull guess. down your pants and give you a spank. Hey, no, Connor, no, okay, here. we're unsummoning you. I have one more question. I have one more question. More question. No, put hair. the flush on the thumb. Uh, I had one more question. You guys are fun. Ha 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 ha. You need you guys you guys want to learn about geometry? I could tell you about all sorts of cool stuff about geometry. Wait, are you are you like googling this while you're like why are you at the computer? <laughs> did you did you ser- search cool shapes on Google? No. We can see what you're searching. I thought you knew about this stuff. No. See you on your phone. Hold on, guys. Just leave me alone for a second. Connor. Uh, did you guys know about the cool shape called a heptagram? No. What nope. about an analus? <laughs> no. That's the crab type thing. That's a nautilus. An analus is a circle. That's the shape. It's like a. It's, it's a circle. Is it true that all birds, their pussies, are also their butt? Yeah. I got 
got so many birds in my backyard that my friends are jealous of me. But I'm the one that's jealous of birds because they get to poop when they pee. Piss on their shit, they get the shit on their piss, and then they piss on their shit, and they shit on their piss, and then they piss on their shit, and they shit on their piss, and they piss on their shit, and that's a new generation. their pussies their butt now this is something i learned from my friend dick arabia all birds uh their pussy their butt okay can we just summon a different demon this is Wait, the worst why? demon yet oh, you guys there's so much substance to me i have so I much to say Wait, no, no. Charming. No, don't. Oh. Okay. wow okay we needed one more demon right oh my Connor? god that Whoa. Was wrap amazing, this thing up. wasn't he? That was really cool. We need two more now. Uh, although I feel like that guy was probably the best guest we've had so far. Full of facts. Okay, pick a number and I'll summon this bitch. 16. 16. All right, Duke Zepper. Let's see what he's got to say. Holy shit. Duke Zepper. Duke Zepper. What's his thing? All right. Duke Zepper. Uh, Duke, I picked a peck of pickled Duke Zepper. Hey there, Zepper. Um, so he has the shortest entry we've seen so far. His mm -hmm. office is to cause women to love men and bring them together in love. He makes women barren. Okay, let's oh do boy. it. Let's call him up. Duke <clears throat> Zepper. Uh, Duke Zepper. Duke Zepper. Duke Zepper. Duke Zepper. Duke Zepper. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Duke Zepper over. Hello. Hello. It's me, Duke Zepper. Hey! Oh, he's covered in You got in any zippers. hot babes you want to have not have a baby? Uh, well, we were looking at maybe. I thought you could maybe get us hot babes. No, Is you bring them to me. I make them love you, but in a nice way, not in a rude way. I may be a demon, but I'm not a, a bastard. Well, I, it does, I feel like making them love you is is that's not a rude way. <laughs> well, the make is a. a, a Harsher word that I would use, I'd say encourage. Okay, well, Zep Zepper, do you mind if we maybe do a role play and uh, you show us how this would work? Oh, I'd love like, to. Role okay. play is like a sixteen. Connor, can you play my mom and I'll play me? Okay, sounds great. Oh, Jack, dearie, what have you got bringing me into this place? This is so hot. It's so muggy in here. Get your hands out of my back pockets. Why are you my hands what are you are doing? Your hands are too warm, and if I pull them out too quick, I'm going to break my wrist. Oh, hey, Mama Beast, uh, you want the... Isn't your kid uh, hot? Don't you think he's a handsome boy? Don't you love him? Do you not want to have kids anymore? All bearing it Mom. up, all tie your tubes. This is Zepper. Zepper, Mom, he's a demon who can uh, make you barren. Uh, but also, <laughs> Zepper, he's a demon who could make women love men, huh? Don't you remember that part? I'm talking at you through my teeth. What a, so who you want me to make love you? Your mama? Wow, you're honestly the smartest demon we've met so far. You figured that out this fast? <laughs> I'll kick your assholes, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, with your little hooves, stinky little man. <laughs> Why am I getting I'm, bullied here? You're the one who's never had a uh, kiss a haven't woman. You, haven't you listened to the fucking show? We're all antagonistic. And look at you've met my mom. No, I haven't listened late. to the show. I I meet women. I get laid. Yeah, Jack. Okay, well. Shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> shut the fuck up. All right. Zipper's yeah. right. Oh wow. Okay. Zipper. Oh, Mr. Zipper's Pierce. right. Hello. Oh. I've never seen you have a woman. Miss Pierce, you you look so hot when you get mad. Uh, your forehead steams up. Zepa. Stop twiddling your mustache. Ooh. Sorry, I can't help it. Quiet down, Jack. Quiet down. Shut up, boy. Oh, God. Mm. 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 Oh. Okay, oh. take us out of the role play. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. so that's kind of what happens. I, I mean, uh, make women so love men, maybe you... sometimes love me. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Now, are you my dad? <laughs> <laughs> According to what we just saw, potentially. 
the Ninja Lee. Pretty okay. Cool. Well, Duke Zephyr, we've got one more to go. Uh, do you have any recommendations of friends? Do you have any references you'd like uh, us to bring uh, up here? President Amy? He's oh, no. cool. President Amy. Okay, let's bring President Amy up. I don't know if... I mean, we saw President Amy down in hell, I think, at one point. But let's uh, let's bring him up. All right. I mean, he, okay. he teaches astronomy, liberal yeah. arts. He yeah. gives familiars, incites positive re- reactions from rulers. He reveals treasures. Okay. 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 I'm ready. All right. I got to go, though. I, I owe yeah, no, President that's, Amy that's a little bit of money. Were, yeah, it didn't mean to be awkward, but that's what we were getting Oh, at. did you? I can hang out. Yeah. You well, sort of just, it's about did time. You are making this weird. Well, it's just, okay. just getting Whoa. about that time, I think. What was he saying while I was in there? What time? What's happening? Uh, we're he did a whole up. joke about banging my mom. It was oh, great. Probably. I don't cool. think it was a joke. Uh, here comes President Amy. <laughs> I hate the shitting yourself part. Fuck. Oh. Hey. Oh. Wow. Hey, Amy. I've been summoned. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, hey, guys. Welcome to the podcast. Very important. Uh, I'm Connor, cool. uh, the ruler of this yeah. podcast and huge fan of astronomy. I know who you guys are. You guys rule. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Whoa. Your president, Amy, you sound a lot like our friend, Jack Piss. I know. I people. I, I mean, I would get at that a lot of t- all the time if people spoke to me in hell. But yeah, I know we sound like basically the same. That's kind of part of why I'm such a big fan of the podcast. You look a lot like oh, Jack too. Interesting. Where did Jack go? Yeah, Jack. Hmm? Oh, okay. Have That's you weird. guys ever heard of Carl Young? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I more. I heard he was more like I. I heard it was I more like Carl Hung. I heard guy was stra- strapping a. Guys, like a pork roast on a coat rack. Yeah, you guys want to hear some shit about astronomy before that? I, uh, <laughs> please, something to cleanse my palate after that. Shane wants to send me to hell okay. for that one. <laughs> what year is it? Uh, 2021. Whatever you want, dude. Okay, 2022. Or 22? Yeah, is that what we're at? Oh my oh. god, we're recording this in 2022, Shane. Are we? Mm hmm. You be the judge. You tell me. Listeners, call in. Let me know. <laughs> uh, what My do you want? Is uh, one one. Amy, this t- uh, what's not what I want. You guys are talking over me. You summoned me. Um, I can say something, dude. Do something. Well, this I was trying to do it. Okay, so here's, what's the, here's the thing. Cool, cool. All right, here's the top number one astronomy fact that you guys are going to You are a little about. bitch. We were You're right to make fun of you in that role play. bitch, dude. The sun's the Earth is gonna plummet into the sun in twenty five <laughs> days. Oh, why? Why? I don't know. Fate or something. Oh, okay. Okay. It's ineffable. 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 Yeah. <laughs> President Amy, you suck. <laughs> you <laughs> suck, bitch. President Amy, you're the worst so far. You guys suck, man. I th- I never meet your heroes. You, you don't even trash. have a cool voice. You fucking invite a guest on and a- ask them one question, then talk over them, and then get mad at them for not talking. Yeah, yeah have you stars. listened to this show? Zero stars. Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta back and all to go to. You do. You really do. It's boring uh, ass. Uh, why do we even have these people here? Okay, and now we're down to the top ten, number one. Oh, yeah everybody that's right it's the lesser key of a uh, solomon is our top 10 number 10 it was written by king solomon it's got every de- demon all of their names all their jobs and all their phone numbers in it it's like a uh, phone book yeah we saw yeah. a little role play down there with president amy and greg who is new to hell uh, and he'd been sent there because of a parking ticket uh, because he parked on top of a handicapped person but it was that person's fault, yeah. Uh, number nine, tarot cards. We like them except for the fact that they're shaped too long and they're totally impossible to play crazy eights with. Uh, number eight, Pazuzu. He's a lunatic juggalo and Jack's cotton candy apprenticeship friend. Uh, he lives in a shack, or he did, with an ungunga <laughs> until uh, he taught Jack to make him a uh, breakfast burrito with ramen, chips, and toilet water and crunch to soak it up and then add <laughs> bubble gum. Uh, number seven, uh, we summon probably one of the most interesting characters we've had. His name's Zumbo. He's the ghost uh, of the humbumbo <laughs> One of the most 
one of the most <laughs> impressive ones. Eh? I, I don't know oh, why we yeah. that one. That was a big surprise there. Uh, number four, we had a all right guy named Forkiss that looked like Karl Marx and <coughs> rode a donkey and was Shane's I think Lord. Forkiss ruled. And he gave off, uh, he gave away old Bionicle uh, just for the price like of your five soul. Kiss. Number five, Pazuzu. Again. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He, he came back <laughs> and uh, we tried to plan but uh, that, for things to ask him, but he wouldn't let us. And he told us... <laughs> Uh, the same stuff before that he was a juggalo. He liked insane clown posse and that you can sit on your hand. <laughs> yeah. Number four, we have the Marquis de Carabia, uh, who knows the oh, virtues yeah, of sucked. all precious stones. He really sucked. And birds. Blue. He sucked. Uh, he came up and said that a seagull and an eagle might sound the same, even though they're not the same. Wow, what demonic knowledge. All birds get their <laughs> eggs delivered by a stork, and storks get them delivered by a bigger stork. And that dolphins are the only, only are the only birds that spend their entire adult lives lives below water. Uh number three, the Marque Unrealfus uh came, who is a peacock with uh, raises great noises and teach cunning and geometry. <laughs> He has the ability to turn a man into a bird and taught you guys cool shapes like the analyst. Oh, yeah, he sucked. <laughs> and how to be respective of your partner's menstruation and their menstrual cycle. Number two came Duke Zepper. He Oh, he <laughs> ruled. He was pretty cool. <laughs> he had sex with Jack's mom. <laughs> he, oh, right. This guy, I think, was probably cool. the coolest we met. He was really sick. <laughs> I like that guy. Good episode. Uh, just for anybody listening, yeah. this is a good episode for, for all you listening. This is a, yeah, for all you listening, this, this is, is a, a good episode. episode. Uh, the top 10 number one most important thing this week is the demon President Amy. Uh, he teaches <laughs> astronomy. Uh, in, he uh, incites positive reactions from rulers. Uh, but when we got him on the podcast, it turns out he sucks. He sucked. Uh, he was really boring and he completely uh, sucked. Yeah. Total horse shit. Dud. This has been podcast. Very important. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, really great. Please like, and subscribe uh, on YouTube. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, give us five stars on uh, iTunes on Apple Podcasts, and please tell your friends about us. Yes, yeah, summon a demon and get them to subscribe. Any last words uh, from you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Wowie, zowie. I had a lot of fun today. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> despite despite everything, I really didn't. But I want to go again. You know, I'm like, I can do, I can do better. I can do better. That's how I feel. Oh, right. That's going to be a real cliffhanger. Yeah. So we'll see. You guys will see. Maybe, maybe, maybe the next one will be better. Uh, podcast, very important, funny or else. Podcast, very important. Podcast, very important.